you gotta be so dangerous Got me feeling anxious, you know what I'm thinking Let me show you what it is Pour up a couple cats there I'ma show you how I live I like it lavish, my commas ass Sex above average, be about that action Like my bitch sassy, gotta be classy It's your boy, Big Self F-H-O's H-N-I-C Kicking shit, you're relaxed Mr. M-B, everywhere I'm all about that I don't do no strategy. Love mama so bad, got the bull down my shade. Body all that, got me twisted like brains. Love the way you walk, love the way you talk, your jazz. If from your head to your toes, you clash. You a die, let me get a minute of your time. Can I treat you to another glass of wine? Your smile is brighter than sunshine. That's what I'm thinking in the back of my mind. We work out with the VIP. Eyes on her, her body on me. I ain't fly, but excuse my hand. Then my song, let me get. I'm trying to exit the building. I love the way you pop this stop. The way you back it up, then drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear your body looking so amazing. Like the fact that you're not complacent. I want to make some arrangements. Why you got Big sell. So you still keeping it 100. Well, keep hitting those asses with the truth on FHO Podcast Radio. Show what you working with, like you working God damn, damn. Hey. It's Big Cell. What that mouth do besides tell the truth on FHO Podcast Radio. What up? This is Chris from Exclusive Sounds. When I'm not doing music on bikes, I'm tuned in to the FHO Podcast Radio. Checking in from an undisclosed location. This is your boy King Pooh, representing the Kings of the South Atlanta Mother Chapter. And every time I get a chance, best believe I'm listening to my boy Big Cell on FHO Podcast Radio. Let's get it. Hey. What's up, Big Cell? This is your boy, Passion A, from Enlightened Ministry Biker Church from Los Angeles, California. When we're not riding, we listen to FHO Podcast Radio. Say, man, what is happening? In? It is a brand new day. Today is Friday, man, last day of the week. Is this, this is not the first, this is second Friday. This ain't first Friday. Is this the first Friday? No, this ain't the first Friday because New Year's is just the second Friday of the week. Of the year. Second Friday of the year, man. What's going on with you? Uh, just wanted to come on, man. Got a hell of a little topic to talk about for y'all today. We're going to get it in, man. But first and foremost, I just want to say I love you. Truly, truly, truly I do. I love you. Hands down. and ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, it is what it is. Um, and that uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's cold outside, man. Please bundle up. Be careful if you're going to ride a motorcycle. If you're not riding a motorcycle, still be careful. Bundle up. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I want to say that let me get this out the way first. Okay. Tonight I am doing an interview tonight with Miss Showtime and Freedom. This will be a very big and important interview. It will be epic to have both of these ladies here in the studio with me, I mean, via, um, via, um, television or whatever you want to call it. Um, Miss Showtime is 75 years old. They haven't been on the ground since birth. She has seen a lot. So we will be talking about that from a female's perspective. We will be talking about old school versus new school. Miss Freedom is doing her thing. Miss Freedom was currently just on, the Harley Davidson ad campaign. She was one of the riders that was in the Harley Davidson ad campaign. Um, so please, like I said, when you see her, um, she's doing big things in the Harley Davidson world too. And she's very about us, you know, all things about us. So I will be interviewing these ladies tonight and it will not be on Facebook. It will be strictly on YouTube. So if you don't have a YouTube subscription, you need to go get one so that you can subscribe to my channel, FHO Atlanta GA, 
and catch this interview live because on YouTube is where it will be. I will when I go live, I will post the link on Facebook for you to be able to just tap the link and go and watch the video to see it live. We will be taking phone calls for the ladies. Um, anywhere between an hour and two hours show, it doesn't matter, however long they need. Um, but it definitely will only be on YouTube. No Facebook tonight, no IG tonight. So you will have to go to YouTube, F H O Atlanta G A to see tonight's show. It is 5.30 my time. I mean, 8.30 my time in Atlanta, 5.30 West Coast time in California. So um, you feel what I'm saying? So make sure tonight you tune in and don't miss this show. It's going to be important. God willing, I'm still here. They're still here. The show will go on, but it will only go on on YouTube, not Facebook, not IG. This will be strictly for YouTube. Um, I'm going to do these ladies some real justice. So, it is what it is. Also, if you have not been following the channel, if you have not been keeping up, me and Two Guns did a show uh, Wednesday. If you didn't ke- get a chance to catch that show, please go catch the show. If you're on the black bike set and you did not catch the show that we did Wednesday, please go check it out. It is that important. I'm not just saying it because it's my show. I thank God that it's my show. But I'm not just saying it because it's my show. I'm telling you how important that show is to any of us on the black bike set. It is that important that you go catch that show. It was I did it Wednesday, so look for Wednesday's date and then go to um, either go to YouTube or go to the podcast platform. Also, you better catch the show live on the podcast on any podcast platform that I'm on. So um, that's that. But that's tonight's show. Also, I want to call this dude and, and um, get him on. Let me see. Uh, he should be on. Yeah, hold on one second, y'all. I gotta do this. This is my friend, my partner, my pal, man. Hold on. Get him on the phone. See if I can get. He never answers the phone. Hopefully, he does this time. But hey, I'm gonna do my part to be your friend. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him. Your call has been forwarded to. See what I'm talking about? He, uh, he always does that. So, uh, he must can't talk. So, anyway, trying to call him and do something for him. I'm gonna see. Um, if not, it is what it is. But anyway, I want to do that for him. I'll wait to see if he calls back during the show. If not, I'll do it towards the end. Also, um, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of stuff going on all over. Um, and everywhere. One of the things I want to tell you guys is this, man, is that it's time for us to really, really, really start being better individuals. It's time for us to start investing into our futures, investing into ourselves. Um, you know, whether it's real estate, whether it's whatever it is, your business, um, your family, your children, you know, um, supporting them, whatever it may be, but it's time for us to step it up. All right, so let's get into this thing. Let me get my shout outs, man. Facebook, who we got on Facebook? Of course, my girl, Miss Sunshine Rogers. Good morning, beautiful. How are you doing? It's always a pleasure. Oh, got my mom on here. Hey, mama. Good morning, mama. And also, where my man at? Hold on. Where I got this? I got this dude on here right now, man. Hold on, man. Yo, what's up, man? This is your boy, man, Mister Let Me Hold Something himself, DJ Dirty, and you're listening to F H O Podcast Radio with my main man, Big Cell, the F H O A B C D E F G H N I C. Big Cell, come on, man, speak on it, man. Let's ride. So that's my man, DJ Dirty. Um, over there at Restaurant 10, so show him some love. Come on out. Kelly KT Tiller, what's going on? Fred Alexander. Um, Ruben Buddha Caldwell. WDZ Rare Breed Davis. Scott Roberts. Stacy, what's up, Miss Stacy Reese Stewart? Let me tell y'all something about Miss Stacy Reese Stewart. Miss Stacy Reese Stewart was here for 18 days in Atlanta, Georgia. She was in Douglasville. And did not come by to see me. Had me waiting outside by the mailbox at least four or five times promising to come by. I said, I'm on my way. So I go out to the mailbox, you know, with my little balloons to welcome her, you know, for being in Atlanta, show her some love, you know what I'm saying, and my little old, uh, uh, Outback Steakhouse gift certificate so I could take it to get something to eat. And she never showed up. Had me standing outside by the mailbox 
you know, looking like a damn fool for at least four or five times, man. Was here for 18 days and wouldn't even come by and say, hey, Stacy, you, I just can't believe you did me like that, man. <laughs> Mr. IBN Musa Hussein. <laughs> uh, who else we got on here? Deron Campbell. Anthony Biggs, my man Anthony Biggs. Anthony Brown. C.J. Brown. Good morning, Mr. Biggs. Andre Brown. Rob Fuller. What's up, Yolanda? Miss, uh, 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 what's her name again? What's Yolanda Velgrind's name? I forgot. Yolanda. <laughs> what's up, Marvo? Mr. Marvin Higgins, and congratulations to your son on all he's been doing, man. Uh, and Dirty, I would let you hold something, but the way that new BMW drive that you got with them $800 run flat tires apiece, you don't need it, player. You don't need it. So knock it off. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't need it. And you need to change that to let me hold something. You need to start, uh, Give us something. That's what we're going to change it to. Give us something. DJ Dirty, you know, give us something. That's his new name. Ain't no, ain't no moment, Mr. Let Me Hold Something. Uh, Mr. DJ Dirty, give me something. Yeah, that's what it is, man. What's going on, Nicole? I called you the other day, uh, sister. Uh, me and Queen sent you a text message. Please uh, check it out. We love you, and uh, and uh, just glad to see you doing your thing. Ronald L.B. Caswell, what up? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm talking about the show going to be fire. Yeah, Showstopper. That's her name, Showstopper. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, shout out to my girl, Showstopper. But uh, my man, Dirty, so you you, you know what's happening. Um, Jen Brew, what's going on, Miss Jen? How you doing this morning? Beautiful day. Um, Jen is always preaching positive, man. She's one of the most positive people that I know. Um, again, another powerful person out here on the bike set. Created her movement, her female thing, man. She is big up in the females, so... A uh, mass shout out to my girl Jen Brew and Mrs. Stephanie Hampton. How are you doing? Um, the other part of the the dirty family. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I uh, hope um, your surgery and everything went well the other day. I didn't get a chance to uh, follow up on it, but I know um, that God, you 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 you're a positive person, so I know God got you. No, it was never no worries. Mr. Adam Cavett, Ghost, what's going on, sir? And then R. V. Burton, what's going on? I love you guys all. Truly, I do, and there's nothing you can do about it. So uh, that's what that is, man. But um, um, what else we got? Uh, I'm just being mellow right now because I'm really finna get crunked up about this topic. Summertime MCs. So you already know the drama's coming. I'm just trying to, you know, trying to take my time and get into this because it's going to be epic. So I got some shit to say. <laughs> I'll go some shit to say. <laughs> Let me see where we at. Wow. Okay, on my YouTube, what we got on YouTube? We got Bear Miller, R. Caldwell, Don Henderson, Dirty Broke, Georgia Boy, Darren Stevens, what up? All the way from El Paso, Texas, in the building. Um, That's what we got, man. All right, so. Um, okay. Make sure everything moving, make sure everything is on point. Okay, it is what it is. So, summertime MCs, man, I got to... Um, Got a, it, it was this conversation came from a conversation called Summertime MCs. <sighs> yeah. All right. So all of us that are on a bike set, we all know the you, you got certain clubs that you don't see until 30 days before the anniversary or until riding season is at its peak. Mr. Willie went, what up? And what I'm going to tell you, if you're on the black bike set, I don't know how it is on a white bike set. I'm not on the white bike set, but I can imagine this is probably a universal thing. We all have members that we do not see. You all know clubs, whole clubs that you don't see uh, unless it's above 75 and below 95. So between 75 and 95, you got people that's going to ride their motorcycle. <laughs> they're going to come out and they're going to be on the bike scene. They're going to be the baddest motorcycle people you've ever seen. They got all their tire. They got all the garb. They got the whole nine yards. So my question today is, um, for all my summertime MCs, how do you survive? What do you, what, what do you, what do you do? If you guys always hear me preach about brotherhood is made on the road. Brotherhood, brotherhood, brotherhood. You can't get brotherhood or sisterhood 
if you're not sharing road time, if you're not sharing hotels, if you're not breaking down, uh, uh, you know, not breaking down on the highway and spending time in, you know, different unknown cities and, you know, gas station conversations and all that. You guys always tell me, what's going on, Miss Shaw? Good morning to you, beautiful. Um, no, no, uh, you know, for anybody that heard that, it was called Queen. Oh, there you go, calling people beautiful again. Y'all know Queen got a show on Monday, relationships. That's what we talk about, relationships. So that was one of the things discussed. But anyway, um, we're, we're talking about summertime MC. So we're talking about clubs that you do not see until 30 days before the anniversary or you don't see them until the summertime, until the height of the summertime. Hold on. Until the height of the summertime. Um, and for me, it don't matter. Hell, the state club do what they do. You know, if that's what they want to do, it is what it is. I, who am I to judge uh, or even have a problem with it? But I'm going to speak on this because it, it, it's, it's something that was brought to my attention. So, they come out 30 days before the anniversary and they do something that I can't stand. I can't stand for you to come to somebody else's anniversary to promote your anniversary. Okay. That is a big pet peeve of mine. Don't, don't see me at the regulators to give me what up big sale, man. Hey man, come check us out. And then you hand me a flyer for your event two weeks from now, three weeks from now, a month from now, whatever. I think that's the most disrespectful thing in the world. I think the regulators should throw you out, throw you out clean on your head. And I'm just using the regulators as an example. Don't nobody say that the regulators threw nobody out. I'm just using them because, you know, it, it, these are my people. So I think the regulators should throw you, out, throw you clean out on your, ad, on your head for advertising your event at their event and you ain't rode your motorcycle. The other part to that is you guys come around 30 days before your anniversary and, and you, then you have the audacity – to some of y'all be in cars, some of y'all be on bikes, but then you advertise and at a bike event, your bike event. You understand what I'm saying? Um, let me tell you something. If you want me and my friends, the people that I ride with and the people that I mess with, if you want us at your anniversary, ride your motorcycle. You ain't got to give us no flyer. If you ride your motorcycle, you don't need no flyer. I bet you right now, everybody can tell you at least what month rare breed, uh, LA chapter anniversary is what month a rare breed uh, Atlanta chapter is what month the Kings of the South anniversary is what month next level anniversary is um, who else we got Sav uh, Savannah rare breed Miami. I mean, you know, rare breed. You can, everybody can down to tell you when the rare breed events is They just pick a month. They got a chapter. They got an anniversary every month, every day, every month of the month of the year. But let's just say next level. Let's just say Houston hard riders. You don't have to ask when the anniversary is. Kings of the South Atlanta, Kings of the South Houston. You don't have to ask when the anniversary is. You might need to know the day or the exact weekend, but you know, you know, you know what it is. Soul Brothers, you know, Soul Brothers of Arizona. You don't have to ask when everybody know Arizona the first weekend, the first or the second weekend in April. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you know, made men, you know, uh uh what's about people in Bakersfield, uh Iron Hogs and uh not Iron Hogs, um uh, what's them in Bakersfield? That's not Iron Hogs, um uh, my boy's in Bakersfield. Damn it, I don't want to mess that shit up. But anyway, you we know, me and my people that ride, all of us that ride, yeah, we know when your anniversary is. We know when the anniversaries that we fucking with, that we going to, we know when it is. We don't have, you don't have to give us no flyer. So quit disrespecting us by giving us a flyer like we don't ride motorcycles. A flyer for your event is for people that don't ride motorcycles. You know what I'm talking about? Any brand new rider that come to the set going to eventually hook up with somebody that ride from the set and they're going to know when your event is because they're going to tell them, look, girl, if you out here riding, oh, you got to go to so-and-so. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you a female, you riding? Girl, you need to go to, you know, you need to go to the all-female ride that Jen be throwing in Jacksonville, in Duval. Yeah, when, when is it? Oh, girl, uh, we going. You feel what I'm saying? Even if you brand new to the set, you don't need no flyer because if you're going you gonna to meet somebody that's going to, girl, what you doing? We riding. Now, unfortunately, if you come on the set in the summertime, you're going to see a lot of ghosts. I call them, I call them ghost riders. You know, we're going to call them for this, for the sake of this conversation, we're going to call them ghost riders. They ghost in what, what what's, what's the months dirty? What, what's the months? June, July, August, by September, they fade out October. You don't, you ain't never knew, you know, it's the, for example, 
They say right here in Georgia. What up, uh, my man, Ro my cousin Roland Hart? Right here in Georgia, they said we got over 365 clubs in Georgia. Shit me, I only see 10. They say in Georgia, we got over 365 clubs in Georgia. You understand me? I ain't never counted more than 12, maybe, maybe 12. You, you feel what I'm saying? Maybe I didn't count 12 clubs in Georgia. I can name them right down to 12 clubs in Georgia, babe. So I don't even know what this whole council shit be about. I don't know what everybody be fussing about dates and, you know, they can't get on the calendar and all that old type of shit. Shit, the calendar wide open, it ain't but 12 clubs <laughs> in Georgia. Shit, what are you talking about? Everybody know the clubs. Everybody, diamond clusters, they in there. They done work their way in there. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? So all of this about, you know, we got to have a council to regulate the calendar. No, man, stop it, man. What calendar you regulate? It ain't but 12, 13 clubs. Pick a weekend. You know, we all know that if you put your, in, in Georgia, if you put your anniversary in July, the, the second or the third weekend in July, the king's going to murder you. They're going to smack you. I don't give a fuck what you're having. If you go against the king of the South anniversary in July, you're going to lose. Hope you just enjoy your, your MC and your family because you're going to lose. If you put your anniversary in August, Trying to fuck with the Atlanta rare breed, you know what I'm saying? You if you put your anniversary in June, trying to fuck with LA rare breed, you it's a law. Put it in April, fucking with Soul Brothers, it's a loss. You, you gonna lose? You, you you're throwing money to the wind. You understand me? Because that's where we going. You know that that's where we all of us that ride my little circle. You know my little circle of riders. You know females, males, and all of us that ride. Shit, that's where we at, man. That's where we at. So you ain't got to give me no flyer. Play, keep your flyer. Man. That, that's really an insult to me. You know, you give me a flyer like I'm a new nigga. Like I don't ride a motorcycle or something. <laughs> you understand me? All of us that ride, we don't need no flyers. We already booked for the next four, five years, man. You know what I'm saying? We already booked up for the runs. We For the runs I'm making next year and all that, I'm, we already booked, man. Now, what we, what we trying to do, all of us that ride, what we trying to do is see if we can squeeze in another weekend here. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, Jen Carl, what we doing this weekend, bro? I'm, shit, what you doing? I'm, well, I heard of something in Tennessee. Ah, Tennessee? Shit, uh, what, what, what's up? when we going to leave and when we going to get back? Because I'm leaving Tuesday going to, you know, going to California. So if I can squeeze that in before Tennessee, pound for pound Memphis. You know, we already know, you know, that's in May. You don't, don't fuck off your May. You don't, you know, don't go against pound for pound in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, that's because all of us that ride, that's what we going to be at. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we going to be. I'm just telling you. So, you know, we already got our calendar set. We we already know what we're doing. We already know where the fuck we're going to be. So don't give me, don't walk up to Big Cell and give him no flyer for your event because I'm going to be insulted because you're telling me I'm a summertime rider and I don't ride my motorcycle. And, and it's nothing. Again, before we get started, let me say this. Uh, if I don't say your name, I ain't talking about you. If I don't say your club name, I ain't talking about your club. If it sound like you, or so, it still ain't you, regardless of what it sound like. But that's, it, 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 you sure that it ain't you? If I don't say your name, it ain't you. Trust and believe I'm fully grown and fully capable of saying your name. But if I don't say it, it ain't you. If I don't mention your club, it wasn't your club. I don't know your story. I, didn't, I don't know you don't ride your motorcycle because I don't give a fuck to know if you ride your motorcycle. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. So don't think it's about you. It ain't about you. It's about them. It ain't about, you know, it's not your club. It's their club. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So let's get that out of the way right now, man. But summertime riders, 30 days before the anniversary, we're going to see you. Because this will go on in Atlanta around May, May, June. We somewhere chilling. People are like, man, what is that? Well, that so and so he he ride was, yeah. When he get that, when he when, he he already had that bike. Shit, he done had that bike now three four years. You you so, man. He just had to just get that motorcycle. Like man, he ain't man. I ain't man. Well, man, you know, you, you walk on Atlanta set. Man, come to Atlanta in June, July, August. Man, you walk around this month. Everybody and their mama got on motorcycle vests. You know what I'm talking about? You at the the preacher at the pulpit got on a motorcycle vest. He can't wait to get off the pulpit so he can go ride his motorcycle in Atlanta. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's motorcycle madhouse going down. You know what I'm talking about? 
That's what I guess. So, so them them the months we see all the three hundred sixty five clubs. But technically speaking, there's only 12, 13 clubs in Atlanta, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just telling you right now, you know, uh, it, it, you know, it, it just because I, I ain't, you know, I, I'm a, I'm gonna say this, and I, you know, I'm probably gonna get in trouble, but I have never pulled up nowhere in the state of Georgia. Nowhere have I ever pulled up on my motorcycle and seen a revolutionary rider. Well, my, my bad. Did I say that? I wasn't supposed to say that. I think it's a club called Revolutionary Riders in Georgia. I don't know. I've never seen them. Somebody called. Hey, said, so who is Revolutionary Riders? Nigga, I know. Oh, they're a big club. A big club. No, they're not at all. They don't even exist at all. You know, I've, I've never seen them. Never been to a gas station and one pulled up. Never been, you know, never been nowhere and seen one of them. I don't know, you know. What did Patch look like? What color? You know? Nah, I ain't never seen them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, so I, I'm just saying, man, I, I can name, uh, you know, I can go down the list, man. Y'all want me to name the 12 clubs in Georgia, 13 clubs in Georgia? You want me to name them? I'll name them. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm trying to tell you <laughs> right now. I don't, hey, I'll name the fuck out of them. I, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, I can name them on one hand. Shit, it ain't that many. I can name them on one hand. Trust me, I can. I promise you I can. Because <laughs> it ain't that many clubs in Georgia. So for all my summertime clubs, man. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? For all my summer clients. <laughs> Listen, man. We ain't mad at you, man. Do your thing, man. You feel what I'm saying? Do your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, it, it, you know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You say, you say name him, I'm grown. Psycho Gear. Psycho Gear Lawrence said, Lawrence said, name him, I'm grown. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, okay. So y'all want to know that, that you know, you know, I, I done kind of been around now. So I, you know, I'm saying, <laughs> kind of, up. well, y'all try to get me in trouble. Well, y'all see that, that, that's what kind of friends I got. Y'all try to get a whole, y'all try to get my whole, I ain't gonna be to go nowhere in the state of Georgia, man. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all try to get my whole head knocked off, man. Now, besides my OMCs, Outcast, Wills of Soul, and, and in no particular order, just cause I said Outcast first don't mean they the biggest, the largest, or the dominant, I don't know. I ain't, you know, that don't, I don't care nothing about that. But let, let, let's just say this. You got, besides my OMC, besides my one percenters, and, I, and I'm just, if I forget your name, please don't, you know, so we're going to exclude them from the 12. You got Wills, Outcast, Chosen Few, Soul Brothers, Hell Lovers, Thunder Guards, Sin City. Uh, who else is here? Hell, that's seven. Who else we got on the OMC one percenter side? Um... We got Joker's Raph here. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, so that's them. So besides them seven, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you said, uh, Cuzzo say don't do it. Don't do it, Cuzzo. Cuzzo say don't do it. <laughs> Listen, man. It ain't but 12, 13 clubs here in Georgia, man. So I'm going to just leave it at that, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to just leave it at that, man. But now, like I said, now, maybe during the summertime, you know, maybe during the summertime, a lot of people, you know, you know, they do their thing. So now this is going to be the other argument. We'll sell shit. I ain't got to ride my motherfucking motorcycle, nigga, just to show you, you know, our club, we ain't got to be big. We ain't, who the fuck is you? We don't care that you don't know us. And I don't give a fuck that I don't know you either. Let's get that straight. I don't give a fuck that I don't know you either. I don't give a fuck at all. You understand me? Yeah, at all. I don't, you know, I could care that, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, let me show you how much I care that, you know, I don't know your motorcycle club. You know what I'm talking about? I'm enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. So, you know, with, with it, with it, you know, when, you know, you say when it come down to this type of shit, I'm just, you know. So now, anyway, um, so you summertime clubs. It got to be above. It got to be, it got to be at least 70 degrees for you to, you know, for you to come out. It got to be at least 70. You ask, man, you riding today? Shit, it's 68 degrees outside. You crazy as a motherfucker. Huh? It's too cold? Shit, it's, it's shit. So it's 68 degrees. That's supposed to be the, the hot today, supposed to be 68. See, me and my friends that ride, we take anything over 30. We don't want it, but anything over 30, and, and it's something going down, and we get a chance to hobnob and, and hang out and, you know, kumbaya together. You feel what I'm saying? 
What was she riding this weekend, Sal? Shit, what is it going to be? It's going to be at least 38. Ugh, shit, let me. Yeah, yeah, fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? As long as it's above freezing around this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? You know. Oh, and don't let it be. Don't don't, don't let it rain. I mean, you're riding your motorcycle. Man, it's supposed to be raining later on the day. What, you know, it's supposed, what time is it going to start raining? She's going to start raining about 11 o'clock tonight. Nigga, it's 12 in the afternoon. What the, we got all day to ride. Man, shit, man. Uh, man, shit, I got to pull all that shit out the way and get my motorcycle. It's back there in the back. Boy, stop. Summertime MCs, man. But I'm going to tell you like this. The set need them. I mean, we appreciate it. We, you know, we appreciate that little summertime money, them little bonus, them little bonus dollars. That's what we're going to call all the summertime clubs. They give us bonus dollars. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what. So that, oh, you know what? So that is the fight for the calendar because everybody wants them June, July, August dates. That's, that's what everybody fighting for, the May, June, July, August date. You know, so for the 12 or 13 clubs that's here, so that's the 12 club, 4, 8, 12, that's three months right there. You know, every weekend. So so that's what the fight is for them little tw- the June, July, August them little months right there, man. Shout out to the Red Line, my boy Foots and them. They doing, you know, OGs in the game. Strikers, OGs in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, all the OGs, you know, y'all, they, they don't count as part of the 12. You feel what I'm saying? They're going to be here forever, been here forever, and we appreciate them for even being here. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 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 he said, he, he said my, if I don't knock it off, stop snitching. Now, so now I'm snitching, huh? You know, so now I'm, because I'm keeping it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The FHO, Jeffrey T. say, so you talking all that shit. Jeffrey T. say, you talking all that shit. Where is the FHO summer ride going? FHO mandatory ride this year. You know what I'm saying? It's the Sturgis. We will be in Sturgis for a whole week, man. Yeah, that part right there, man. You feel what I'm saying? We in Sturgis this, this year, man. Yeah, Sturgis. Two houses. We lounge with swimming pool, jacuzzi, and, and Sturgis. That's how we getting down. But I'm just saying, though, you know, West Coast coming. I got East Bay Dragons coming to start to be in the house with us this summer. You feel what I'm saying? I got some West Coast cats coming, East Bay, some East Bay Dragons cats coming. I got some Soul Brother cats coming, you know, to hang out with us in in our in our you know for the for the summer for FHO. So we're gonna have a damn good time. Anybody interested, hit me up. We still got bed space, five hundred dollars for the whole week. You feel what I'm saying? And we twelve uh, eleven miles from the nine and eleven miles from the from the main event straight road there straight road back. That's how we getting down. But anyway. We ain't talking about me. We talking about summertime clubs, man. You know what I'm saying? Summertime club. You say this show came up under my, oh, you know what? I probably didn't even change it. That's probably what it is. Yep, I did not change it. My bad, y'all. That's why my YouTube is, is, is slacking. But it is what it is. I'll, I'll uh, boom, boom, load it up on mine later on. So get some, I'll get some uh, stuff over here. So anyway. <laughs> Y'all try to give me trouble. So anyway, summertime clubs. They come around 30 days before the anniversary. Um and you know, you don't see them until, you know, the weather get you know, you got to have perfect motorcycle weather, whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? You know, perfect mo- I don't, I don't know what perfect motorcycle weather is, but they come out during the summer. So now, let's talk about for my brothers that, uh, matter of fact, we're going to pay some bills, man. We're going to be right back, man. We're going to pay some bills and we're going to be red, 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 right back, man. Select luxury cars. Proud sponsor of the FHO podcast live show. The most diverse luxury vehicle selection in the greater Atlanta area. The highest quality customer service and unmatched nationwide pricing. Contact Mike Goodall at 678-855-2292 to schedule your appointment today. Select luxury cars. Trusted family dealer since 1994. Yo, this hot boy from the Red Breed Mother Chapter out of Compton, California. We tuned in to FHO all the way from 310 to the 404. Y'all know how this shit go. Montana Cigar Company sells premium cigars and accessories. Located in Union City, Georgia at 4641 Flat Shoals Road, Sweet C, Union City, Georgia, 30291. Montana Cigar Company offers a smooth, laid-back, serene, mature adult environment for cigar aficionados. Discounts for all the first responders, military, teachers, and nurses. Come enjoy your favorite games and boxing matches on our big screen. 
screen TVs, we also have a poker table where you can come and try your luck. Eco One, the superior eco-friendly motorcycle and auto detailing spray. Eco One super wetting and low foaming polymer technology cleans by flowing underneath the dirt particles and lift them away from the surface. All you need to do is spray, wipe, and watch the amazing shine appear. All of this is done with very little time and effort, but the results look like you spent all day waxing your vehicle. Ego One, don't ride dirty. What's up, what's up, what's up? This your girl, Lil Tigger. I'm chilling with my boy, Big Sailor. and you'll listen to FHO Podcast Radio. Stay what tuned. up? I listen to my Uncle Big so in the FHO Radio. Say, man, we back, man. We talking about summertime MCs, man. So now let me get into this part, man, because for some of us, man, it's, it's rough during the winter months, man. All my brothers up north, I called a couple of them this morning, asked them, hey, bro, if if brotherhood is made riding your motorcycle, when well, you guys can't ride your motorcycle, what do you do? Okay. Philly, I talked to Philly. I talked to Connecticut. I talked to uh, New York. I talked to uh, uh, Ohio and Chicago and stuff like that. And for me, it's very interesting because those cats are, they're, they're down maybe probably four months a year, you know, with the snow and the, and the real Arctic cold weather and different the black ice and all the rest of that stuff. And what they said was like, I talked to my man Rocco from um, uh, Pittsburgh gentleman president down that way. Uh, well, uh, I think he's the president, but the, my boy Rocco down there, Pittsburgh gentleman, he said very interestingly, he said, "Say, well, we survive the winter months because we have a clubhouse, you know, and with having a clubhouse, the brothers know they can come there no matter what. The clubhouse is always open. I think they have a policy. They have some kind of security system where each member has a code or whatever. They can open it up. So with with, with having a clubhouse, with having a stationary um, building that somebody can go to, that makes it a lot easier when you have that downtime where you can't bond with the motorcycles and you can't get out and do this and do that. And he said they also have the, uh, you know, the, the Thanksgiving dinner and the Christmas parties and, you know, different stuff like that. But the biggest factor that he relayed to me was that having a clubhouse makes it just so much easier um, to survive those winter months. You know, when they when they have to be down where motorcycling is, is not a big thing. I also talked to um, my man up in Connecticut, my man Hardhead from uh, Wheels of Soul. And what he said is that when they're down like that, when, when riding on motorcycles is not possible, what they do is they just make sure that they brotherhood every Friday. They got like a every Friday brotherhood to keep it strong, especially with them being 1% of the OMCs. They got to stay together, you know, and they got to make sure everybody's on point. Um, and I just talked to different people, man. And I talked to my, um, 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 talked to my boy, um, the president of, uh, of, uh, Kings and, uh, Kings of Harley out that way. And he was just telling me that, uh, you know, it's, it's just all about, we, we finding stuff to do. We finding family stuff. We finding bowling, you know, um, you know, they going bowling, they doing movies, they just doing different things like that, going to other brothers' houses and hanging out, you know, just getting together like that. And he was saying that how important that, that had to happen because you will lose members over the summer because we all know, let me let me say this hands down, we all know that every, when, when these type of days come, because some clubs have what they call downtime where you could break your bike down and this and this and that. We all know during these months, it's harder to motorcycle and it's harder to keep a club together because everybody, you know, kind of, it's almost like you can breathe. You know, went so hard all summer long, and now you get a chance to breathe and kind of, you know, do some family stuff, catch up on some family stuff, get the house in order, and spend time with the kids, the wife, and et cetera. So it's a hard balance. But what we're talking about is how do you keep the brotherhood and how do you keep the club strong and how do you keep the brothers motivated when, you know, they're used to riding their motorcycle and they can't ride their motorcycle. So these were just some of the other things that came up. But again, I do agree with my man um, Rocco when he said having a clubhouse makes it all easier. If you don't have a clubhouse, you don't have nowhere for the brothers to come, you know, to come together, knowing that it's going to be somebody else there. I might be there. I might open it up by myself, but eventually, you know, you know, somebody, another brother going to fall in or, or whatever it may be, and that's kind of important. So to all my clubs up north, man, y'all dealing with the snow, y'all dealing with the bad weather and all that shit. Hey, that's your problem. You shouldn't have moved your ass up there. Oh, you thought I was going to say uh, I was sorry for y'all? No, sir. That's your choice to be your ass eight feet in the snow. <laughs> I sell ain't shit. I'm just saying. 
That is your choice, man. You can move and come on down here to the A or go to California where they ride. See, California, for the most part, if you live in California, if it's 365 days on the calendar, then you get to ride at least 300. If it's 365, you get to ride at least 300. I'm telling because it's only going to be 65 days out of the year that may be fucked up. You understand me? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So all of y'all that live in the snow and all that shit, they got snow plows. I don't feel no, I don't got no sympathy for you. I ain't sorry for you. You know, fuck you. And, and, and you know, and, and, and hey, get, get your snow plow and get your shovel ready. And sorry you can't ride your motorcycle. You understand me? And, you know, some other shit. I hope your motor, the gas in your motorcycle freeze over and you know and you the summertime come you can't ride because the gas in your motorcycle froze and and they got to take the whole gas tank and unthaw it and trying to unthaw it with a thing it blow up and it's all bad for you you understand me <laughs> <laughs> look at what i need to say whatever <laughs> i'm just saying man you know what i'm saying move your ass away where you can ride your motorcycle man you know what i'm talking about that, that ain't got nothing to do with me man you feel what i'm saying I, that's your fault i'm down here where i can ride a motorcycle at least 200 days a year down here in Georgia, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, but for them, man, uh, you know, I can understand them being basically summertime MCs because, like I said, at least four months out of the year, three to four months out of the year, they have no possible way of, of being on the ground. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They have no possible way of being on the ground and, and getting out and, and all that. So now that's when motorcycling has to be actually hands-on brotherhood and coming to the clubhouse like I said, trying to find a way to, you know, we're going bowling, we're going to the movies. And then, like I said, we all know that in every club, you got the brothers, you know, you you got the brothers who they look for this time to take off, you know, and they look for this time because they know it's going to be slow. And then, we, like I said, you got summertime brothers and your summertime MC. You all know that, and, and I'm going to say this, and I don't mean to step on no toes, but, you know, let me, let me hit y'all with this. I'm enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. Listen, every club got them. I don't give a damn what club you in. Rare breed included. Every club got them. You got the members that only come around for the anniversary. Use is some rotten motherfuckers, man. You anniversary members. You know, you know. I don't care how much is the dues. I'm going to pay my dues for a whole year. How much is that shit? <laughs> Here go my dues for you. Don't even call me no more about no dues. Just, you know, you got them kind of motherfuckers in the club. You feel what I'm saying? You got them kind of motherfuckers in the club. They're going to pay all their dues up front. You feel what I'm saying? They're paying all their dues up front, and, 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 and you ain't going to see them until the anniversary. Then they come to the anniversary and want carte blanche. You know, they want to be carte blanche at the anniversary. You feel me? You know, that type of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, play your role, play your position. You know, that go along hand in hand with the members that don't participate in none of the club, you know. But then when it's time to vote on the president, they don't know what the hell going on in the club. They ain't been functioning the whole year. They ain't barely rode their motorcycle minimum miles. You feel what I'm saying? They done did all that. Now, you know, it's time to vote. And the, the dude that's running, he done got the list of all the non-active members. You know what I'm saying? Or, or the active non-members. I'm sorry. They, you know, the active non-member. I guess that would that be that'd be the list that they own. They active, but they non-members. So he's running for president. So he done got the active non-members list. And he called, hey, bro. Hey man, I need you to run. I'm, I'm running for president, bro. I'm running for VP, bro. I need you to come on in and vote, bro. Come on, you gotta be there president. Okay, I'll come to a meeting, ain't been to a meeting in six months. Now he gonna come in there and vote and don't know what the hell going on. Ain't been nowhere. Ain't been on the ground. Ain't been to the clubhouse. Ain't been around the club. You feel what I'm saying? But now he gonna come vote. You know what I'm saying? And 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 just mess up the whole order of the club and just 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 destroy everything. But you know, summertime MCs, man. You only see them when it's hot enough to ride. You know what I'm saying? When when it ain't too cold, it got to be hot enough. It got to be just. It ain't. It can't be too hot, and it can't be too cold. It got to be. You know, it got to be just right. It can't be. You know, I'm gonna say if if it's if it's seventy seventy one. They might ride because they got a, they got a brand new jacket they want to show off anyway. You know what I'm talking about? They got that brand new leather Harley jacket they done went and bought. You feel what I'm saying? So they want to show that off. And I'm only speaking to my Harley rider because that's all I know about. But they got that brand new leather jacket. They want to show that leather jacket off. So they're going to come out at 71 to get 70, 70 degrees. He also, and, and, this, and listen, for all of us that ride, we already know who he is because we see you when you pull up. I mean, what they got that big ass jacket on for? It's hot as a mud. They got a whole jacket, a whole leather suit on. 
he rapped from head to toe. Oh, he, he that must be one of them summertime riders. My bad. That's one of them old summertime riders, man. I ain't even know, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Old summertime, right? It's 70 degrees, and he got a whole leather jacket on. He got the leather jacket on, the hood, every, you know, all the, he don't just pop the tags off everything in the closet and it came on out, man. I'm just saying. So, and then if it's, if it's, so if it got to be at least 70 for, for, for the, you know, for the summertime rider to come out. And then it can't be over 90. If it's, if it's 92, 93, it's too hot to ride. It's too hot to ride. He ain't finna ride between if it's 90, 93 degree, 94. To, oh, no, he ain't right, man. It's too hot, man. Y'all crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, you know, the ozone. And then you got, you know, they, they blame, you know, the summertime riders. You know, they got to ride. You know, they can't ride because the asthma be messing up and, you know, all the allergies and all this other bull crap, man. You summertime riders, man. But like I said, here in Georgia, here in Georgia, they say it's over 365 clubs. It ain't but 12. It ain't but 12 or 14. You feel what I'm saying? You, that, that we see. You know, I don't know. Like I said, maybe maybe the other clubs, maybe the other clubs ride underground or something. Maybe or maybe they in this, you know, maybe they ride above us or something. They, you know, we don't we don't get to see them. But I, I you know, I'm just saying, you know, here in, you know, that'd be one of the biggest things. But we got to regulate because there's too many clubs. Where? Where, 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 where are you seeing all these clubs at? Oh, you must be talking about in June, July. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you're talking about in June, July. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, because, you know, if you if you really want to see how many clubs in Georgia, just go to the King's anniversary in July and stand at the gate. You be, Woo. And you just watch the bottom rocker, Atlanta, Georgia. Damn, what, how long y'all been in that? Man, we've been here 17 years. We've been here 12 years. We've been here five. We, should we going on year number seven? In Georgia? You in Atlanta? Yeah. We, oh, man, come on. you like, what the? I, what your boy, uh, what my boy Tony Tony Baker, uh, yeah Tony Baker on uh, on Instagram. I never knew, I never knew. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You know what I'm saying? It's twelve, thirteen clubs in Georgia, man. Where y'all getting all these other clubs from, man? It ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you must be talking about the summertime MCs. Yeah, you, you got to be talking about the summertime because, like I said, in the summer in Georgia, you can't find a motorcycle vest on nine shelf in Georgia. You better not you better not wait till May, June to try to go buy a motorcycle vest in Georgia. You're going to be in trouble. You understand me? Your ass going to be in full-blown trouble. You're going to be vestless around here in Georgia. <laughs> in Georgia, man. You understand me? Yeah, so, you know, all I can, <laughs> all I can tell you, man, you feel what I'm saying is, the summertime is a beautiful thing, man. If you, you know, if people out riding their motorcycles and you know people out doing their thing. But like I said, it got to be above seventy and below ninety, man. Summertime MCs, man. But to all my brothers, man, that's up there in the north, like I said, in the snow, and you know, you know, you gotta, you got it. Take you two days to snow out of your front door and all that. Cause see, let me tell you something about me, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, something. if I wake up in the morning, and it's it's a few people know I don't even come out my house. I don't go outside unless I absolutely have. It's scary out there. Y'all ever been outside? It's scary outside. It costs too much money to be outside. Every time you go outside, you got to spend some money. You can't go outside and go outside and come back without spending some type of money. Now, unless you go into the mailbox. You know what I'm talking about? You, you might go to the mailbox and back and don't spend a dollar. But anything past the mailbox, damn, they're going to cost you at least a dollar. It's going to cost you something. And it's scary out there, man. People riding by, looking at you crazy. You don't know who they is. And, I don't go outside. So let alone let me go outside and it's snowing or open up the door and it's snowing. Huh? What? Is, boom. I'm slamming the door. What, the, what is that? Oh, no, we don't do none of that, man. We don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, so listen, man. <laughs> what Jesus say, Jesus say, you don't never go outside. I'm, I'm just telling you, man. I, it's scary out there, man. It's scary for real, scary out there. But anyway, to all my cats up north, man, that you, you know, you're in the snow, you can't ride, but. You know, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine months a year, man, because you snowed in and the weather bad, black ice and all that. I don't feel sorry for you. Fuck you and move. You know what I'm talking about? Go on, move. Skunk, I just saw Skunk on here. You know, nephew on here, my boy nephew Turner and all that. My man in New York on here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Don't be, you know, I'm not, I don't have no sympathy for you that you can't ride your motorcycle because it's snowing. I ain't, you know, and, and, and all that. Move. Get to California. 
where you can ride your motorcycle at least 300 days a year. You understand me? You know, get to Georgia where you can ride. You can ride in at least Georgia at least 200 days a year in Georgia. And if you're in Florida, you can ride 373 days a year. You know what I'm talking about? Because they get an extra eight days of riding because the weather, you know, down there. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. So listen, man. All you summertime and MCs, keep doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But what we gonna stop in 2020? What you gonna stop doing in 2020? You are gonna stop insulting the people that ride their motorcycle. It is in, it is an insult for you to walk up to a person that ride his motorcycle and hand them your flyer. Everybody that ride a motorcycle, my little circle of people that ride motorcycles, we already know when your anniversary is if you ride in your motorcycle. Let me say this one more time. If your club is riding a motorcycle, you don't need flyers. We already know when your anniversary is. We locked in for the next four, five years, man. Like I said, I can tell you, we all know May is pound for pound. June is shit. In, uh, no, I'm sorry. Let me start with let me start with April. I'm sorry, and I can probably go back to um, February, and March. But anyway, I'm going to say April. We all know that's Soul Brothers Arizona. May pound for pound. June Soul Brothers. I mean, June is a, a, a rare breed. July is Kings of the South. August, you know, you come back. You you know, you stay from the Kings and stay in August. You got you know, you got uh uh, uh you got between. Breed, Chicago, next level. You got June, also June, July. You got hard, hard riders down there in Houston. You got May. You got Kings too in May. He, Kings of the South. He, he, so what I'm saying, I don't want to keep, you know, I don't want to fuck off nobody, you know, nobody get down. But I'm just saying, February, uh, you know, February, you know, we, you know, whatever. And you, you know, you got the all female ride thing. Listen, man, listen. For us that ride, man, for us that ride, don't give me no, don't. Don't, I'm, I tell you what, give me a fly and I'm going to swing on you. Fuck it, I'm just going, we might well go on and get out and fight because you disrespecting my riding game. You disrespecting my yonder pimping, man, by handing me a flyer, a yo event. Like, you know, like your club is really, you know, like your club is really riding and I need to know, you know, when your event is. I, if you're riding your motorcycle, I already know when your event is because I'm already coming. My calendar is already booked for the next four or five years. It's, it's automatic, you know, me. it's automatic. Ask Queen. Queen, what we, well, I know we're going to do Soul Brothers in Arizona. I know we're going to do Arizona. And you know we're going to do Breed. But then, you know, we got the sun graduation in there. So we need to find out how close that is to Breed. And then, you know, we we already know where we're going. We are, all we need is, all we waiting on is the, is the hotel to be released. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. We, we, this, we, we all, we, we, that's all we waiting on is hotel info. You know what I'm talking about? And matter of fact, Hell, most of us that 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 fuck with who we fuck with, we, the whole is already on reserve. They already know to go on the book. I, Arizona, I promise you this. Arizona I already got my card already on fire. Just book me the presidential suite, man. A Z. You know what I'm talking about? I'm I stay at the same hotel, the same every time. Just book me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me. You know, they, they don't even call me no more. They just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tempe Inn Suites right there on Baseline Boulevard. See, what I'm talking about. I ain't even had. To, I, I'm just telling you. That's off the top of the head. Tempe Inn Suites. Right there on Baseline Boulevard, right off the 10, get off the freeway, make it right, boom, right there. Next to the Waffle House. You know what I'm talking about? Right there, man. Base Tempe and Suites is where I'm going to be in April. It's, it, that's just what it is. All of us that ride motorcycles, we don't, we, the Soul Brothers can't give me no fly. Rare Breed can't give me no, what the, oh, you want me to advertise this or something for, the, for everybody else? For them? Or oh, this for them? Oh, okay, because, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. For us that ride motorcycles, it's an insult for you to give us a flyer for your event. If you are DOs, chosen few, East Bay Dragons, you know, they got two events a year. You know, East Bay Dragons do it big twice a year. You feel what I'm saying? We already know. We know. San Diego, that run in San Diego. I mean, you got made men. You, I mean, come on, bro. We got Bakersfield. You, you, you know, hey, listen, man. I'm just let me be quiet, man. So anyway, that's what it is. All you summertime MCs, man. Summertime MCs. But somebody enjoyed it. I, you know, they want me to do. They want me to name the twelve. It's only like I said. It's only twelve, maybe fifteen clubs in Georgia, man. I would name them, but I don't want to piss nobody off. Like I said, and to answer the person question that called me and asked me, sell, man. I. Is, is is that club Revolutionary Riders big in Georgia? I have never seen a Revolutionary Rider on a motorcycle in Georgia. 
So I ain't no, I don't know nothing about revolutionary riders in Georgia. Never seen them, never heard of them. You know, so if you say they're a club, hey, more power to you. But I have never been nowhere on my motorcycle in the state of Georgia, the entire state, all 737,000 square feet of Georgia, <laughs> have I ever been anywhere on my motorcycle and pulled up next to a revolutionary rider, man? Yeah, it is what it is. I said it. I ain't taking it back. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, it, like I said, so I don't know where y'all get that. This is 365 clubs in Georgia. It ain't but 12, maybe 15, and that's excluding all of my OMCs, all of my OGs, strikers, and uh, uh, born losers, and you know all of the OGs. You know, excluding them. You, you feel what I'm saying? So we ain't even got but maybe five or six clubhouses in Georgia. So how the hell we got 365 clubs in Georgia, man? You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, like I said, do not go around handing people that ride a motorcycle your fly. It's an insult. It's embarrassing. It's disrespectful. Because us that ride, we already know where we're going. We already know the schedule for next year. We, we've been saving up already. Motorcycle been getting prepped on all ready to ride. We not even, the only thing we need to know is it going to be too, too cold or too, too hot. So we know how to dress. We're not saying we're not going to ride. You know I'm saying? You, you summertime riders, we already know, like I said, you summertime riders, it got to be 70 to about 90. Y'all going to ride in between 70 and 92. And again, we could tell all the summertime riders because at 70 degrees, you done pulled up on a bike set on your motorcycle that we ain't seen in three years and you got a full leather jacket on and a hoodie and some more shit like it's cold outside. We out here with flip-flops, short pants, you, you feel what I'm saying, in a tank top at 71 degrees. It's 70 degrees and you got a whole goddamn uh, snow, uh, 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 alpine snow ski outfit on, you know, thinking you cute on your motorcycle. If you don't get your summertime riding ass back in the house, <laughs> hey, quit playing right here, man. You understand me? Yeah, we done came across the desert at 116 degrees, mate. You know what I'm saying? 115 degrees at 2 a.m. in the morning, we crossing the desert, mate. You you won't ride if it's over 93 to 93. It's too hot outside, Sam. My motorcycle. Man, please, man. And then the, the other part about the summertime riders, you know, I had a dude tell me, man, you putting that many miles on your motorcycle? You crazy. Man, I might shoot. If I do 3,000 miles a year on my bike, man, that's that, that's too many. Player, shh, don't tell nobody else that, please. Don't let none of my partners hear you say that. That, that ain't going. That ain't, no, don't, don't, don't do that, man. Please, just, you told me that. I ain't tripping. Go on now. Go on. For somebody else hear you say that, man. The summertime MCs. We love you. Like I said, we appreciate the love. We, you know, we appreciate when y'all come through for the summer and show out. We appreciate you. Look, look, look. Okay, there go. Revolutionary riders ride and been on set for a minute. They just not popular on the set because they ride quietly. Oh, they older cats laid back. Okay, my man Al Francis, you know, he he spoke up for him. You know, he did what about somebody asked me about him, I told him I had never seen him. You know? So my man Al Francis said revolutionary riders ride and been on the set for a minute. They just not popular on the set because they ride quietly. Okay, so I need to apologize then. So, okay, so let me say it like this, because my man Al Francis, owner of Mon uh, of uh, Montana Cigar, let me play his commercial, this is my boy right here. Montana Cigar Company sells premium cigars and accessories. That's him right there, my man Al Francis, that's him. Check him out, man, Montana Cigar Company. So let me say this, I, I, gotta re I appreciate that, Al, you just hit me with something. So it's only 12 or 15 loud clubs in Georgia. The other 350 are quiet. So it's 350 quiet clubs in Georgia, and 15 loud clubs in Georgia. So, you know, that's why I be tripping, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking when you say, you know, I'm thinking all the clubs is loud, but it's 350 quiet clubs in Georgia and 15 loud clubs. Okay, so, you know, I, I can be corrected. Hey, I am not perfect. I am not perfect. I can be wrong. You feel what I'm saying? I can be corrected. So, you know, I ain't got no problem with admitting that. I'm, I'm sorry. My man Al helped me get corrected. Al said, no, 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 Sal. You know, no, 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 no. They are here. They're just quiet. They motorcycles is quiet. They club is quiet. They speak quiet. They quiet. Quiet MCs. So to all my quiet MCs, I appreciate you. 
Stay quiet. Stay riding. Stay safe. It's your boy, Big Sal of H-O, H-N-I-C. We go on quietly. It's your boy, Big Sal of H-O's H-N-I-C. Mr. Him be everywhere. Big Sal, you still... Enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. It's the FHO Live Podcast, where the truth will be told. We promise you that. It's your boy, boy. Big Self. Joe's HNIC. Mr. Him being everywhere. You can have it. Go to my.